Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. Today we're gonna be touring this four bedroom villa located in Chantelet. We will be touring phase one of this project, but since there are only two four bedroom villas left, phase two is already under construction and set to be done in the middle of next year, 2024. In phase two, they range from three bedrooms starting at 26.5 million Thai baht up to a four bedroom starting at 36.5 million Thai baht. The land plot size also ranges from 550 square meters all the way up to 940 square meters. Can't wait to show you guys around, so let's get right to it. We're in the parking garage. As you can see, it's quite a big space, but since this is phase one, I'll give you guys some like ideas of what phase two will look like and we'll add some pictures, but the sizing will be pretty much the same. You can fit two big SUVs in here easily. And also the ceilings will be turned into black um, with LED lights, which I think will look really, really cool with gray walls around as well as the gray like built in storage room in the back. And also we've got this electric gate, which is perfect for privacy and very easy to access into your home with just a click of a button. Also, this whole home is literally a smart home, so very easy to work around. But for now, let's walk straight into the villa. Right out of the parking garage, we enter into the home. There's also a separate entrance here for your guests. But as I mentioned before, everything has kind of changed a little bit in phase two. We've got like lighter designs and this little koi pond right, right here with the waterfall will just end up being like a nice greenery patch, which I also love, but they will incorporate the waterfall in the outdoor living space, but I, you guys can customize it however you'd like because phase two is still under construction, which is great because you can kind of personalize it the way you'd like. But I do want to show you the products of um, what they're using and all the materials just to show you that it is really high quality stuff. But now let's check out the outdoor living space. Here we are in the outdoor living space. This is kind of the centerpiece of the home. Everything else wraps around it, which I love that it's, you know, everything is connected to the outdoors. Now, what changes in phase two is that these uh, tiles in the pool will be a lighter gray color, which I think will fit very well with the vibe of the rest of the home. There's also gonna be a little outdoor kitchen in that corner right there. And instead of the sala that is in front of me, it will actually be a nice lounging area with sun beds, or you can even do like a sunken in lounging area, which looks very, very cool. But the thing that they will keep the same is this extended area right here, kind of like a kiddie's pool, but they put the sun beds there and it's connected from the master bedroom, which I love how they've kept that. Also the jacuzzi that is right there, surrounded by nature still with lighter tones. Um, also a waterfall right behind the lounging area. So as I mentioned before, the waterfall right now is where the entrance is, but they've moved it all the way into this outdoor living space with the same, same grayish like stone slab. So I will add in a couple pictures so you guys can really get the idea of what it looks like. But at the same time, here behind me, we've got this overhang, which will be exactly the same lounging areas right here, but you know, with some shade if you don't wanna get that tan. And also I love how this kind of continues from the living room space behind us. So it gives us that nice flow into the outdoors. But yeah, let's go check inside what the indoor living room looks like. Back inside the living room space, as you can see, it's kind of a nice flow. Everything's connected, but also it's separated by, you know, each of its own purposes. So we have the living room space here, but actually in phase two, 
the living room will be where the kitchen is and the kitchen will move to over here. Now everything will be like neutral tones, earthy tones, which I actually really love. So the tiles will change to, into like this creamish color. We've got nice light furniture. Um, the ceiling is gonna be the same height, but the wooden beams will be sanded down a little bit just to um, flow with the rest of the home. And yeah, into the dining room table here. Same kind of vibe with this um, whole piece of like tree as the, uh, as the dining room table, which I love. But the chairs, from what I've seen in the pictures, and I'll show you guys as well, it's kind of like this orangey color, which I think matches really well. I love an orange. So <laughs> all the outdoor living space is kind of intertwined and flows into one as um, your living space. So we do have the sliding door right here that can be opened up and we have this side garden, which I love. Instead of having just a white wall in the back, you have this whole like garden space, which is lovely to look at. And in the kitchen area, as you can see now, everything is a lot darker. This like island here, is darker as well as the wooden cabinets but everything will still be fully equipped as you see right now we have the wine cooler here we have this charging station um, as well as just all the electric electronics that you need to be cooking at home but the style of it will be a lighter tone color probably from what i can tell looks like a white um, cream marble and the same with the back wall so yeah this is a lovely lovely open space you feel the breeze because all the sliding doors are opened up which i love and it takes you guys straight outside into the outdoor living space but there's actually two master bedrooms in this villa which will be the same in phase two let's go check out the first master bedroom So right next to the master bedroom, there's actually this multi-purpose room that can be turned into whatever you'd like. Right now they have this massage bed, some gym equipment, this treadmill behind me, and this whole wall for the mirror, which is perfect. You can even turn it to a dance studio if your kids do dancing and they want to you know, do a dance class here at home. But you can really change this to however you'd like, um, an office if you'd like, literally just full on creative creativity, especially that phase two is still off plan. So you really get to like get in there and put your spark into the home that you're gonna live in forever. But yeah, so this is connected to the master. So let's shimmy right in. Here we are in the first master bedroom. The second master bedroom is actually right opposite the swimming pool here. So they both have direct access into the swimming pool. The only difference is this bedroom in phase two will have the splash, we won't have the splash pool. It will be on the other side of the master bedroom. But as you can see here, it is a really large space. We've got high ceilings, um, beautiful furniture. But as I mentioned before, everything will be more of a lighter, earthy tones and right behind this partition wall is actually the closet space they will be added um two vanity spaces that is completely built into it which i think is really nice because it is a master bedroom the guys need to get ready as well now through here we have the ensuite here we are in the ensuite, guys. This space looks so, so big and very grand. And I'm pretty sure it's because there's actually four shower heads. Um, we've got two indoor showers as well as two outdoors. And I also love how they, you know, separated the shower just by this glass right here. So it still feels big because you can see all the way through. Um, again, the tiles here, I actually really love the dark, dark tiles in here, but they will be a little bit of like, a lighter color and on that side we have the sink everything fully equipped with um, the towel racks on the side as well and what I love is that we've got so much natural lighting in here there's even like a little sun um, window panel up top that gives us lots of natural lighting and as I mentioned earlier we have an outdoor shower here yeah so this is a beautiful space. You get the outdoor as well as indoor in your bathroom. I mean, how amazing. But yeah, let's go straight into the next master bedroom, which is on the opposite side of the pool. 
I'm in the second master bedroom on the opposite side of the swimming pool. The only difference that would be in the master bedrooms is that the splash pool would be right here. So I would actually probably be in the swimming pool right now. Um, all the setup in here is completely the same, but in this master bedroom right now, there's actually a bathtub outside. But so you guys can kind of get an idea if you want to have a bathtub or like a rainfall shower as your outdoor showering space. So that's a nice feature to look at. Everything else is pretty much the same, but also, as I mentioned before, lighter tone um, wood, nice grayish earthy tones uh, wall around as well as the furniture pieces. But yeah, now let's check out the other guest bedrooms that is down the corridor. Follow me. Just outside of the second master bedroom, we've made it to this corridor that connects us into the outdoor living space as well as the indoor living space. And what I mentioned before is that they are actually gonna add an outdoor kitchen bar and in this corner right here and you can actually access it just opposite the first guest bedroom. But let's check out the guest bedroom. Um, lovely, lovely space. Right now we've got dark wood built-in cabinet space. What is gonna be different is that this wall is actually gonna be painted like a sage green color, which I'm actually really obsessed with. It works really well with the side garden that we have. And guys, look, we can actually walk right out here. It's such a lovely day. You have this little space out here for your guests to enjoy the sun if they'd like. And I like how the garden kind of wraps around the whole home. So you kind of have like a view everywhere you go and a view of plants honestly is nice. Now walking back in, as I mentioned before, this beautiful built-in closet space that kind of doubles into a vanity space right here um, or a workspace if you're an office gal. And through here, we have the ensuite. Guys, lovely space. I really do like the tiles that they use in here because it's such good materials. Everything here just looks really, really finished. Like it, you can literally move in right away. All of the materials they use are just like natural stone. Beautiful touch to it. The shower actually has access to the side garden as well, which is lovely um, because you get that natural lighting, but it is covered by bushes, guys, so you're not gonna see your neighbors, neighbors <laughs> while you're showering. Um, but in these guest bedrooms, you actually have a choice of doing a kid's bedroom or completely just for your guests, which I love about off-plan stuff, you can kind of get creative with it and they really do help you out um, with what you want to change. So it's really so customizable to you. So if you do like that kind of stuff and doing off-plan, I'm pretty sure this might be the one for you. They are very flexible with um, the designs and stuff and really do cater to you. But the other guest bedroom is just down the hallway. I'm not going to show you that, but I'll pop in some pictures of what it could look like in phase two. But for now, let's wrap it up. We have officially wrapped up this house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do want to get more information about the phase one or the off plan phase two, um, click the link in my description box below. It will take you guys straight to the C property team. They will take great care of you. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and like and subscribe. Bye.